Hi, I'm Slushmatic, one of the trainers here at Gods of Gravity. Today, I'm joined by All, a mod, to um, give you some tips and tricks. Enjoy. The first thing you'll need to know is bad placement. This is what an example of bad placement looks like. You see how all our troops died there? Womp womp. That's bad. And this is what an example of good placement looks like. There's a thing. I don't, I don't have a thing. I see how we, see how we have so many more ships? Remember, always use good placement unless you want to lose the game. Never put the wormholes into the planets, always put them face a little bit further away from the planets. What's up? I'm showing you guys how to, uh, the good placements. Figure you got the first four troops that you get at the beginning of the game. Your best bet is probably go slowly so the shields block the circles. The circles, they don't shoot through the shields. So as long as you stay back, they don't shoot through the shields. But when you come closer to the planet, those star looking things, they shoot rockets. So when you let them, you have to go slowly and pull them back before they get killed like that. But, <laughs> I didn't do good that one. But, yeah, that's what, you put it in and when, as soon as the missiles come at you, you pull them away. But you have to be careful because if you're too close and you grab on your guys, the, uh, shields don't activate and the bubbles will shoot through your shields also so you have to kind of be careful and stay a bit further away and slowly going in now these are point defense ships you may think you've seen these in game before and you have no idea what they do well let's show you if we grab some shield ships and mix them with the point defense. And then we head over to a nine planet over here. Watch what these point defense ships do. They block all the missiles that we can. So remember, every time you're attacking something, always use point defense. That will less and don't push them too close into the planet, because if you push them too close to the planet, the other troops will be able to shoot you. So as long as you keep them back a little bit, they'll be able to counteract the, miss the missiles or whatever they're called. Next up is God Choice. Something that you never want to do is either A, pick God of Production, or B, use the ability when your fleet capacity is full. To show you an example, we'll show you in this game. Next is the production ability. So you notice on the bottom left of the screen how the blue bar is full and the red bar is not completely full. There's some slight um, s more darker red. Well, that means that you're at full fleet capacity and if you were to use your ability, nothing would appear. So remember, if you're using God of Production's ability, make sure you always have more troops. Next is the sun. So you see here how the timer is counting down? Once you free the sun, when the timer hits zero, you get a has been buffed. But you want to make sure as soon as you, as soon as you get the buff to remove your troops, Otherwise. Next is power ranges. You see this um, thing right here with the lightning bolt that's crossed out of it? That means that I have no power here. So if I were to grab some troops and try to attack, no power. But if you wanted to get power, you would capture a 
planet like this one, which does have power, as you can see. And then when you do capture it... If you notice from another planet, these little solar panels come flying in. Boom! We have power over at his home base. Also, um, after you get the planet, before it blows up, it might say you have power, but you don't actually have power until the shockwave hits that particular area. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people, they'll go for you know what I mean? Like, they go for the planet first. Yeah. 